Well, we've talked to some very interesting people here this afternoon. We're on until 7 o'clock here in Los Angeles. It's pouring down rain out here in L.A. I don't know what's happening back there in Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh, North Carolina, last we checked, was probably 30 degrees. It's been a nice couple of days here in Los Angeles, probably in the 70s. We're live backstage for the uh, pre-rehearsals for the uh, Grammys, which is coming up on Sunday. It's a fantastic show with lots of live performances this year. And uh, I recognize you because I grew up watching the Monkees. Mickey Dolenz has uh, joined us now. Hey, hey. hey, how good it is to see you. And I, you. I used to come home after school and watch the Monkees every afternoon. Cool. <laughs> you know, on with the Foster and the Blade, of former monkey. And you've done so many things because you're in the biz, man. You've done yeah. all kinds of different things, all kinds of different yeah. TV shows. And one of our favorite things that we were talking about earlier is that you were a DJ at one time at WCBS in New York. Huh? <laughs> I was. We just love that. How'd that I go? I did, too. I loved it. I mean, I didn't like getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning. That kind of wiped me out. But I loved the rest of it. It was a lot of fun. If I do it again, I think I'd be the late night guy. You know, the late night uh, love doctor. Come on over here, honey. Sit down and talk to me. That kind of thing. You know, late night, that's more my time frame. <laughs> I had a great time. I loved it. Got Four a lot night. more respect for people in the business now. David, nice. Lee Roth, David Lee Roth once said morning radio was the hardest job he ever had to do. Oh, it was tough. It was really tough, yeah. So what's happening with Mickey Dolan's here in 2009? Oh, boy, lots of things. Well, I'm here at the, at the Grammys, of course, and um, announcing a couple of things. One is the uh, television show that's on the air right now, a music show called Gone Country. Uh, hosted by John Rich of Big and Rich, where you go back to Nashville with, and uh, you write a country tune. It's kind of a reality show, and I said I'd never do one, but it, it turned out to be really lighthearted, a lot of fun. It wasn't one of those mean-spirited, backstabbing, treachery kind of shows, because I, I, I told them, I said, you know, I do that every day. We call that the music business, <laughs> and so I don't need to do that. <laughs> and I... Uh, I went back, wrote a great song. The cast was amazing. Taylor Dane and Sheila E. and George Clinton and, uh, you know, amazing cast. And I went back. I'm going back in a couple of weeks to write some more country tunes because I kind of grew up in a country lifestyle uh, out here in, the, in Los Angeles, riding and, and shooting and fishing and going to the mountains all the time when I was a kid. So I'm kind of closet country anyway, I suppose. And then the other thing I'm here announcing is my first solo album uh, in a long, long time. I had a lot of great songwriters writing for me back during the Monkees. Uh, Harry Nielsen and Neil Diamond and Boyce and Hart and Neil Sadak and uh, uh, Paul Williams. And, and one young lady wrote some of the best songs uh, I think we ever did. Her name, her name was Carol King, and she wrote some songs with Jerry Goffin and other partners. So I always thought one day I wanted to cover uh, Carol King because uh, she had an incredible career, obviously, as a songwriter. So I'm doing a CD called King for a Day, uh, produced by Jeffrey Foskett, uh, who produces Brian Wilson, amongst others. And we just closed the deal yesterday, and so I uh, was able to come down and announce it today. Man, when you're in the business, and by the business, I do mean the business, you're always in the business. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's hard to get out. <laughs> I don't know what else I would do. Uh, actually, before the monkeys, I was going to be an architect. <laughs> what did I you was? go wrong? Yeah, right. You were discovered, and it was all over. I, I was going to be an architect, and if I couldn't make it as an architect, I was going to fall back on show business. <laughs> <laughs> But now you can never fall back in architecture, can you? <laughs> right now. You're, you're hooked um, and you're yeah, done. Yeah, I'm hooked. Okay. What's the greatest album of all time, in your opinion? Your favorite album, uh, album it, it of all time? It has to be Sgt. Pepper uh, for me. Um, and not, not least because of uh, which I was at some of the sessions. So I, that has a very special place in my heart, yeah. Wow. Well, wait a minute. Well, hold <laughs> yeah. on. You were at some of the Sgt. Pepper sessions. Yeah, I, I was in England doing a press junket, actually, and uh, I went over and met Paul. Uh, and it was kind of a little press thing. Did he know Mon you? No, we had never met. Okay. Yeah, he knew of me, of course, because the monkeys was was huge over there at the time. And um, uh, we went just him and I. We had dinner at his house, and he invited me to a session at Abbey Road Studios the next day. So we're doing a new album, and um, I, he invited me down. <laughs> it's actually a funny story. I don't know if you have time, but I was expecting this incredible, crazy love fest, be in psycho jello, freak out, beetle hippie, Carnaby. Thing. I don't know what I was thinking, so I got all dressed up in my paisley bell bottoms and my tie-dyed underwear and the beads in my hair up, and I must look like a cross between Char uh, Charlie Manson and Ronald McDonald. <laughs> well, that's the <laughs> like, 70s for right, you. Right, exactly. Yeah. And, and so, and I go down to Abbey Road Studios in the middle of the day, and it looks like my high school gymnasium. It's fluorescent lights, just the four guys in jeans and t-shirts, sitting in folding chairs, playing. And I must have looked like such a idiot. I'm like, well, man, where are the girls? And a little John, overdressed? And, yeah, a little overdressed. And John Lennon, I'll never forget, he says, hey, monkey man. That's what he called me, monkey man. You, you want to hear what we're working on? And 
And he points up to George Martin, and I heard the tracks of Good Morning, Good Morning. Uh, that was the song I remember hearing off of us. And then I went back for the big final chord. They had a big party for the big final chord at Day in the Life and, and a couple of other times. It was the great. Fi- the big final chord. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow, you just blew me away. That was fun. That was good days. That was fun. Good days. Okay, so good. So you'll be here for the Grammys, and that's fantastic. And after that, wow, can we see?